what the cooler vibes are. Mm. Welcome back, everyone. Episode two oh, yeah. of Around the Water Cooler <laughs> oh, at YKTR. We ditched the lav mics. We've had a few dramas this morning. It sounded like big we were dramas. Bit of echo. Big dramas. Very big echoey. Dramas. So yeah, this room has a pretty high ceiling, and these are quite directional mics. So you don't really hear it. Normal podcast. You know what I found out upstairs? It's the concrete floors. Is what old fella was saying. Yeah, that's oh. what I mean. Remember I said we yeah. should, when we were fitting it out, like yeah, throwing the rug sense. or a big bit Bounce of carpet it. when we do this. But Maybe Jackson buys a hide. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Little piss but we are here. We are around the water cooler. We're having a bit of water cooler chat. How'd you find the first episode outside of the sound? Simi, I know you're a big fan of the show. Yeah, massive fan. Massive fan. <laughs> no way he watched it. No <laughs> chance. No chance. Uh, nah, I actually, obviously, house, as you guys know, I was moving house. So, but I, I do watch all of our content. So I'm sure. I'm sure it's as, typical. As brand manager, it's very important to be on top of what we're producing here. So mm. we've got a bit of a good partnership going, don't we? Yeah, we do. We, we all know do. What we're selling. We all do for sure. Jackson, uh, yes, welcome sir. to the show. Well, thanks, man. It's of Belly Baller's him. fame, yeah. of Grouse and a few Reds fame. That's yeah. recording this afternoon. Do you want to give the YouTube yes. channel a bit of a plug? Yep. Subscribe, you dog. Subscribe, <laughs> subscribe to Jordan's Room hard, YouTube either. channel. Hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Hit the like buttons. Big if things. If you don't subscribe, he might get fired. So <laughs> subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. There's going to be a lot of content coming through for that. I'm going to be dropping a vlog um, Friday, uh, Friday afternoon. Oh, sorry. I'll be recording it Friday, dropping it Saturday. So when everyone's hungover and depressed in bed, they can chuck that on, man. They can chuck it on and watch me be depressed. Yeah, exactly. So subscribe, drop in a vlog on on first vlog on Saturday. And on subscribe, Scope's channel will have uh, 10 out of the can tonight. So straight after this, jump on. We've got the merch dropping as well. The Grateful Tees. Gone. Fuck, I'm facing the wrong way. Both got the cream on. There's some Navy numbers going around as well. So 6 o'clock tonight, Sydney time, AEDT, Daylight Savings now. That's a bit trippy. You've got to get used to that, don't you? Yeah. It's buzzing me out. always trips me out. Yeah. Do you know the origin of Daylight Savings? Um... Is it the same as DMT? Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, I don't no. either. No, 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 no something to do with the agricultural. Most likely kind of just crystals in the moon, you know what I, I mean? I think it's something to do with the farmers of the world, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, some, I don't know. They Because the so sun's still the same every year. It's not in so my farming day. Never does it, but I reckon we should keep it. How good's having those extra hours at the end of the time? Yeah. I don't even. The last thing Sydney needs is four <laughs> hours at night. <laughs> I'll fucking tell you what, man. What's How sunny is it at 3 a.m. in the morning? <laughs> there's no, there's no sun, man. It comes starts coming up around four thirty five. But we'll, um, that's we'll jump into the topics. Um, oh, last two right. days, we've had the Redcliffe Dolphins twenty twenty three. They'll be in the league. Wayne Bennett it. is is that officially confirmed or was that just yeah, like it's official. official? So Wayne Bennett's going to be the coach. Jacko mm. as YKTR Sports Fame mm. podcast gives you a little take on the Redcliffe. I just love that leagues club. I put that post up last week. That's grouse. Yeah, I was saying all year. I don't think that. The, there's enough talent in the game to justify an extra team, but now we're here. There's no point in talking about that. Um, yeah. I'm worried. Yeah, let's talk about that. I'm worried. <laughs> like, in terms of, like, where it is, that I reckon that's sick. That's the only place it could have been. Like, the talk of it, like, a second team in New Zealand was just stupid. Like, that made mm. no sense. Mm. Perth made no sense. It's too far away, respectfully, no. to all of our Perth listeners. listeners. Shout out to Perth. Grass and a few reds, very big in WA. Love Perth. Um, you fit, you I used to live there. Yeah. 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 I used to live in Perth, man. Little Western Shout Force. Shout out to Perth. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I love it. Wayne Bennett's obviously the, that's the perfect guy you want for a foundation coach. Um, he's he's going to have a whole year doing his little fucking puppeteering and whispering. Oh, for sure, yeah. for sure. And you're off your head if you don't think the prayers is using this year as a where, little- Wait, uh, where is that? Where is it? Is it like a little beach town? No, I think it's like 25, 30 north of Brisbane. I could be wrong, but I think- yeah. No. I'll look it up on a map actually. If, I'm, if I'm playing the NRL, the, the, the one team I'm going to is either the Bulldogs. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. Or like lifestyle wise, I'm going to the Titans. Yeah. And they've got a nice little number going on there. Yeah. Got a nice little team there. I'd be going to the Titans for sure. Speaking of the Titans, in terms of like recruits, because this is going to be the whole chat for the next 12 months, it's going to be like who the Dolphins are going to recruit. Because they're not going to be able to come straight out with their Q Cup team and a bunch of local juniors because they'll just get smacked. No, no so way. they're going to have to recruit. They're recruiting right now. Bro, I would be. Obviously, like guys like Munster, Harry Grant, like you need to get a couple of established. Cody Walker's probably like he's Wayne Bennett's guy. Do you think, think it was bad that they that they like are just expanding it with an extra team? Well, yeah, I do, but that's done. Same, I, 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 I don't. Think it, I don't think it. I don't think it should double down. So there's going to be a buy round and whatnot, eh? Yeah, well, there's going to have. Can't to even get fans to bloody games without. Yeah, you know what I mean. It feels like there's a lot of good energy in that part of Queensland. I just had a look. Forty-four no, minutes mad. north from the valley. There you go. It's mad, but I just I don't think the NRL needed a, another team. That's just my mm, personal mm. view. Yeah, um, talent wise, 
it's already confusing enough. I, I can barely fucking know who's on. Especially the disparity between the top and the bottom of the table That's this the season. Like, and like you're either getting smacked or you're having an eight six game Parry Eels mm. Penrith. Further to what Simi was saying, like they're going to have to recruit, which means they're going to be taking talent out of other teams. Like, where else are you going to get them from? You're exactly. not getting them from the Super League. So lesser teams are going to get more diminished. Redcliffe, respectfully, is probably going. to... I mean, it's Wayne Bennett, so who knows? Mm. You know, the Gold Coast came in with a hiss. They were fucking good for a minute eh, mm. when they started. Yeah, they've got uh, Preston Campbell out the back. Campbell, but I'll be going. Yeah, anything I can do to get Jaden Campbell. Yeah, on the that's a Dolphins. good shout, actually. Yeah, don't touch Reese Walsh, or I'll fucking kill you. But <laughs> get yeah, Jaden Campbell. That could be dangerous. Yeah, he will. He want to come home. Little snacky. How dolphin. about the logo? Thoughts on the logo? They rank. Dolphins are dolphins, man. You, know what <laughs> you can't make it vibey. <laughs> yeah, but I feel Put like the original on one was better than the like the modern one. Yeah, the modern one. The modern one's a little bit too like Sea World. You know what I mean? A little flipper. Yeah, that, I, I, I would have chucked up like a little snapback at the, on, on the top. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <hard. laughs> little 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 fucking D D on the snapback. It looks like a wish version of the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, just I don't know. It just it doesn't feel anything. It just you look like at a, it. Is it like it's red like red and white. Oh no, I don't think it's been confirmed yet, though. I like their color. Their uh, colors are nice. Cool yesterday. Col- their cool if color. you if you had to name a team, what would it be called? In Redcliffe? Yeah, like Redcliffe. What? Uh, I like the Redcliffe Rhinos. I like the mm, Redcliffe. I've got a good one. Yeah. Um, it's got to be something that's like Redcliffe Sydney. baboons. <laughs> it's right on the water, so I imagine this Red little, spider little monkeys. peak here. Let's have a look at what it's yeah. called. Clontarf, Woody Point. I reckon there's a few uh, dolphins around Woody Point. Yeah, Redcliffe. Scarborough Beach. I think Redcliffe Salsas. What's, the, what's the native bird of the Redcliffe region? Oh, the, the kookaburra. kookaburra. Yeah, nice. Yeah, imagine that coming out of the kookaburra. Ha, ha, ha. Do that again, Luke? We'll, <laughs> no, we we'll just leave that there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, I th- we went a whole episode the first one, no rugby league chat, so. Yeah, fuck it. Bit of footy chat. Bit of footy it's chat. A, it's sick. They're going to have to recruit, which is going to be fun. So the whole the whole narrative of it's going to be fun. I don't think it's a good idea for the NRL, but I'm going to be proven wrong. Yeah, I'm fucking nice. So no, good, good on them. Good, good on, on them. But and Redcliffe, it, like you said, looks like a vibe to go. Jackson to. and I spoke about this in the in the grass and a few reds, where like, the t- like, there's just no the, the the competition needs to change in regards yeah. to like marketing and like yeah, you know like what Paris doing with like Boko and shit. Yeah, like, they need to all get around that vibe and like put names at the back of jerseys and like that's how they're going to grow the game. Clean, clean slate for Redcliffe. Yeah. There we go. Do whatever they want. Speaking of the water cooler. Oh. oh. Okay. Did a live water cool action in the back there. Oh, how thirsty. But yeah, moving on. Um, <laughs> next topic we had on the list was Paddy Mills, the Brooklyn Nets, and yeah, all the yeah, dramas yeah, surrounding yeah. them. Paddy Matty. Mm. Yeah, Bala Paddy. Bala Pat. Yeah, with, with Kyrie. He might, he might get a few minutes with Kyrie having his little Oh, he's definitely going to he's, he's definitely gonna get going there. He's in. Um, I think um, it, like, it, 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 obviously it's your health, so you don't want to be disrespectful and be like, oh, yeah. but fuck, man. Like if you if you're if it's your job and you're required to do that and it protects your teammates and stuff, it's either you're like it's either you're in or you're out. So I, I reckon if he's not in, then Brooklyn will either try and trade him to the um to the Sixers f- for Ben Simmons. For ben Simmons. You, I um, saw that on um, Basketball Forever. Could that be a legit thing, Bailey Ballers? They've they've been talking about that for a while. Like it's the one trade. I, I've got another one. I'm going to toss at you because that was actually a good take. So I like that. Thanks. But um, that's one trade which I think actually instantly makes. Both teams better, mm. which is weird. Massively. I think Kyrie on the Sixers with Embiid and that squad instantly makes him better. And I think Ben Simmons, as a facilitator, you don't have to fucking shoot when you got Harden and KD yeah. and yeah. Levert and all those boys. Um, so I think that does. I think that works as well. But the other yeah. one, the other one that's doing the rumor mill at the moment, it doesn't seem like he would ever want to do it. But Clay, no, Clay would be dope. Um, Damian Lillard, Ooh. really? Because Oregon at this stage, someone. Don't quote me, but as I understand, they don't have a vaccine mandate at the moment. Um, so, but that will allow him to play home games. Home games, and it will either way. He's if he if he stays on this course, he's never he's not going to be allowed to play in New mm. York or San Francisco. Right, and it's going to be pretty much California in general. So, yeah, so that'll, yeah. that'll involve the Lakers and Clippers. Mm. Um, but yeah, those are trades that make sense. The whole Kyrie thing's weird. Like before we go back onto obviously Patty Mills, it's good for Aussie basketball. We don't yeah. give a fuck, but. And I still think they're a big three. I think those Harden and Katie are big enough. And, and they got Griffin as well. Yeah, of course. I think I read and a st- Aldridge. I read yeah. a statistic. There's only like two percent difference with Kyrie on the court, yeah. and then when Harden's not on the court, that's when they start really being impacted. Yeah. I can't remember Harden's they're percentage. Still a favorites to win it. Like that's the thing. So I still think they're a big three with like you, the guys you mentioned. But like the whole Kyrie thing, bro. He's now changed his tune a little bit and said it's not about not getting vaccinated. It's about the voice for the people. A voice for the people 
because he doesn't like vaccine mandates affecting jobs, affecting employment. Yeah. Which like, is fair I, enough. That's fair enough. But like you said, bro, cool. Then you're out. Yeah, yeah. You just got to like bite out. the bullet and you're just not, like then, you're then out. you don't play basketball. You retire. Yeah. And I here's my. I would my if I was Brooklyn, I would hold on to him. <laughs> I would hold on to him. Keep paying. Pay, him. Keep paying him. Yeah. Nah, no way. Well, because if if they'd say potentially trade him to a team in there. Mm. Could do them more damage. I'd trade him for a bag of laundry at the moment. Really? I'd get him the fuck out of there, yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, I just distraction. think. Because otherwise, you know what you're going to have? You're going to have KD, Harden, every single time practice ends, every single time a game ends, the media is going to be asking about Kyrie. Mm. Yeah, that's Until true. you get him the fuck out of the locker room, yeah. it's going to be the question all season. So yeah, I feel like he's too emotional. I feel like, a, like when, yeah. when he's like talking about things, he gets like offended. By the, he seems smart. Like, that's no, the no he is. He's, yeah. he's smart, but like just the way he communicates with. with um, like he'll like the media. Yeah. Like he went just, off it's like he's like really emotional and gets like a- almost angry at yeah, them. It's yeah. like we're just fucking well, doing our job. Remember yeah. the start of COVID last year? He sort of just went off the radar completely, and then he popped up on some Zoom call. I think it was a Black Lives Matter movie. What about or something like he that? took a he didn't go to the away trip against who, I'll make it up like Utah or something. He's like, oh, just calls Steve Nash. Like, I need a personal oh, day. Yeah, and he's like, yeah. oh, that's no dramas. And then he's out there stanky legging at his fucking daughter. Uh, Sister's wedding or some shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "What are you doing?" So Kyrie's a he's a, he's a character. He's a character. I here's my thing, bro. I'm telling you right now, he will retire from basketball. You reckon this week he will retire from basketball? Conor McGregor style. Conor McGregor style, which means he's not actually retired. And as soon as all the stuff, vaccine mandates, all that stuff, if it ever washes away, you'll probably see him back. If not next year, the year after. So he's going to retire from. I'm telling you, he's going to retire from basketball. So- but it's not a retirement. He'll come back. Some big takes around the water cooler. Yeah, that's what we do around here, man. Mm. Have you heard that somewhere though, or is that just? Of course you? I have, Luke. Yes, yeah. of course it's not. <laughs> of, course of course it's not an original take. Come on, man. <laughs> come on, bro. Um, last topic, sort of similar. They've all the dramas up in Queensland means the Tim Zoo fight is now at Kudos Bank Arena in Sydney. Mm. So all the fighters up there. There was a couple of Gold Coast based fighters on that card. So who's he got? He's got the number uh, six guy. ranking guy. I can't. I'll bring up his name. Mm. I should have had that in the notes. My apologies. Um, but yeah, he could have just probably held out and to try and get the belt. But that's tied up with one of the Charlo brothers in the rematch. I don't know if you remember yeah. a few months ago there was like a really tight decision. I think it went to a draw. Yeah, Charlo probably should have lost. A lot of people thought he lost. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's probably why he's not getting caught mm. up straight for the belt at the moment. Um, but good to have another big boxing event down in Sydney. We had a good laugh out at Bankwest that time. Yeah, that was a giggle. Yeah, I think the, the thing, Tim Zoo's good for boxing down here, bro, because as the UFC gains momentum, so the US, the reason the UFC is like spiking popularity in boxing dips, we all know, is because Dana White, who is a boxing fanatic, basically took everything boxing does well and everything they do wrong and created the UFC. So we get the fights we want to see. We get them every other fucking week. If you've got the belt... Doesn't matter about, there's no mandatory rematches. There's mm. not the IB fucking CHW Batman symbol belt. Mm. It's just one belt. So, like, he's monopolized it, and that's why it's growing. But you get guys like Tim Zhu who, like you said, could easily have just kicked his feet up and said, mm. nah, like Anthony Joshua does, like, you know, before him, Floyd and all that do. And he just goes, no, I'll just fight. Yeah, he goes, move it, move it down the road, I'll fucking fight. So, it's I think good for boxing. The Rose brothers have done, like, wonders for boxing yeah. down here. Like, in off the back of what you're saying, they are matching up a lot of, like, undefeated Aussie talent coming through. Surely yeah, so I, was talking to, I was actually talking to, to George about fighting. He saw your Instagram story, did he? No, no. I'll show him. Show him. No, you in the worst. All right, show us the DMs, we'll wait. Bring who, it up. Who, who would you fight? Po- who would you I don't know, that's what, we're talk, that's what we're talking about. Because if you dare look at me, you know that I'm the of us. That's why we're in talks. Holy <laughs> shit. That's why we're in talks. That's why we're in conversation right now. I don't want to say anything, but. Until the I'm, contract's signed. I'm just, this is, we're just talking. All I see, I'll read, I'll, I'll read the, the clean bits, which is possible. 50% of the work is done then. <laughs> well, is that because you got a gym membership? No, 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 no. Well, let's, we, we, we've got to keep it on the hush, you know what I mean? Yeah. Wanna, wow. Uh, yeah. yeah. But, but Looking Nelson, for prize Nelson, fighter. Nelson Asafa Solomon. Watch I saw you iron off Darcy in here yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't even in here. I know. Size, why were you sizing him up like that? Darcy? Oh, because we're um, going out hunting together on Friday. Nah. <laughs> oh, I heard. <laughs> but yeah, great for Aussie boxing. Um, anything else that you want to bring up around the world? way back 2017, man. Mm. <laughs> he said that. He did. There was actually a few stories going around about how everyone first met you and no one has a normal story. No one. Perfect. Scope's like, yeah, he FaceTimed me. I didn't even know him. He said, oh, bro, I'm coming back. Can I live with you? <laughs> Scope's like, who the fuck is this guy? Norma, your mate's coming back. Yeah, grouse. Heartbroken. Oh. Now look at us. Anything else to bring to the water call this morning, Simi? Um, 
Oh, fuck. Oh, obviously, we we're going to talk about the Love Island. Oh, okay. We're going to go there. Yeah, Because yeah, no, I scrapped no, that. No, but no, no, here we go. We, we, so I watched a bit of it. A few um, Billy Goats on there, eh? Fuck, man. What? Fucking like, sucks. Honestly, yeah. it actually sucks, bro. Like, the producers Sorry, picked guys. the worst lineup, man. Like, that, even there's that, there's that one guy, I forgot his name. I'm um, not good with the name. He actually, he them. actually went in at the same time as me. The one who's like, oh, if, the, if they keep, oh, so off, it's like this. to give everyone a bit of context, oh. Simi was in <laughs> talks. Guy. Yeah, so like he was there at the same time as me. Yeah, and um, like fuck, you see, you see that guy on, on which character well. is he? Like the one with the beating blue no, the eyes, like the the in the kitchen, and he goes in and he's fun. like, oh, oh, he's from um it's Bondi. Bondi. Yeah. Yeah. He's, so he's um you know Mallory from Muscle Republic. He's yeah. one of dating the Asian girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that one, that one. He's cringe as man. Cringe, Wait, what about man. When he's he, like, what oh, about he comes like, up behind her? She's trying to fucking put her Fruit Loops away. He's like, damn girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's and like, she, please and then stop. She calls him out, which I, th- I thought was pretty cool because yeah, like, fucking usually they'll hide, hide that stuff like they they won't hear that shit. But I mean. Who knows, man? Maybe maybe he's trying to be a character that he's really, that he's really not. I feel like he's trying yeah, a little bit yeah. too hard. It's like just crazy. Even That's with the boys is a bit awkward. Like when yeah, they're yeah. training in those little clips, he's yeah. like, he, I think she was there and he starts doing like bicep curls yeah. and they all, you could tell it was way too heavy for him because like, yeah, like yeah, the vibration yeah. arms. I reckon well, you just be nervous as on that show. Like, you know, when you first walk in and like the, like none of them are comfortable because there's yeah, cameras yeah. and girls, but he just hasn't relaxed. No, <laughs> no, no. He's just like, he's so cringe. Yeah. Like it's, it's fucked. Respectfully as well, you you probably I would half have, happy you're not on the show. Uh, yeah, respectfully. I, don't really, I honestly don't don't really mind. Like, um, it would have been fun. I think it, I would have. I, I Who would you? Have, would you would have got on. Who would you? Uh, do you so? Do I reckon you, African dude. T- uh, Tucker. Yeah, yeah Tucker. He's a giggle. He's yeah. funny, man. He's probably. I reckon he's he's a good dude. He's crack up ass. You can already see that he's, blonde he's, chick. He's not long for that show. Which, which one? Sucks. The first blonde. The chick? The one who he went on a date with. Yeah, the one that the intruder one. Yeah, yeah. Bit taller. Yeah, the tall one. Yeah. She's cool. She's cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's yeah, funny she's as. Funny, yes. um, it's cool that it's in Byron as well. Like, yeah, I do yeah. like that part of it when they, I think the first one that was in Marbella or in Spain. Yeah, it's on a, a bit Mallorca. Mallorca. Honestly, it would have it, it, it been a giggle, but. Um, Who would have been more of a giggle on the show, Simi or Normie? Normie. 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 Yeah. Normie. I think sure. an AFL oh, player went in giggle. last night. I didn't I didn't well, tune I, in last night. Honestly, me and, Nor- me and Normie Imagine going on that show, on. Right? that would have been <laughs> fucking the best. Me and Normie oh, just there's fucking. There's no way he's getting a contract after that. Should we try look over the bed, there's three pillows. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, what? Something's not in his bed. <laughs> me and Normie just crashing in bed together. <laughs> oh, but bro, bro, yeah, no, nah, but I, I, I reckon yeah, it's, it's cringe ass. It's something, like, honestly, I think it's. I don't know. It's, it's like something about the like UK UK people. It They're suits just, the culture. Eh? It suits yeah. the culture, but like just the guys are so much more like vibier and like they're so much more better with like their words with chicks. Like yeah. the Aussie guys here are like, oh, like oh hey, uh, you know, just like what the <laughs> fuck, chill yeah. out. Like bro. but they say even like you know when he sneaks up behind her, he's like, hey. Like, oh, so if they keep, if they keep, if they keep picking outfits like this, um, and he hits uh, her with a little yeah, tassel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing <laughs> with the grope? Yeah, the grope. And, uh, what about the bloke that gets into the room? You know, when they're sitting there in front of the camera and yeah. he can't put a sentence together. Oh, oh the poor tradie bloke. The poor yeah. tradie bloke. Oh, how? What do you? So Even yeah, tra- overs under is five hundred. Is five hundred. How f- he reckons he smacked five hundred girls. You reckon he's? I reckon he's full of shit. Yeah, but no, you, you got to honestly like when people say that you got to you got to think quality as well. Mm. So he could have fucking. Uh, respectfully five, smacked but even he, even if a girl said that like but what i don't doable. what 500 is doable definitely but like my thing with it like his excuse was i've i've traveled it's like well yeah, yeah. he could have no because like, oh, you, like when you travel like the Aussie yeah. accent true he's a glamour does he have blue eyes yeah. then he was yeah, saying he's guy, just yeah. all the southeast like, asian he's, he's countries and stuff. Too, that kind of. i think he's got a little bit of uh a little bit of the anxiety like he kind of he Which one? When he talks, like he's a bit fucking. Yeah, it'd be nerve wracking, man. Yeah, I think uh, I would have been sweet. Oh. I think I would have been sweet with it because of like people are gonna be so pissed off that shit. we we don't know the names and we just keep going. The tradie guy, the dancer follow. Yeah, the <laughs> dancer follow, bro. With the fucking with the tassel touch killed me. I went. I was like, bro, are you sweet. <laughs> and that's that 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 sort of that sort of shit will hurt you after the show. Imagine yeah, the, you're, you're, the, little, you're the tassel guy, and, he, and then like he's like he's. You know how I G up and I'm like, mm, nah, like he's, he's that's him, that. like yeah. actual, like, sure, what's up, girl? He's like, yeah, I pick girls up at the gas station. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, that's fucked. 25 bucks of unleaded. Yeah. If you go into the show, Simi, what sort of role would you have played? Would you have been the stick early or would you be sort of playing the field a little nah, bit I cheeky? Reckon, I reckon I would have just been like, just easy just going. Vibing, yeah. Um, respectfully, like, to. if I was to go on the show, this we're talking about if I was to go on the show. Hypotheticals only. Yeah, this, it's like that tall blonde girl. 
would be like, that's my girl. Yeah, that yeah. Was she. I would have as soon as I said, I would have went straight for the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully, yeah. Like not in a, I don't know, man. I probably would have got anxiety and yeah. I was, about, I was literally <laughs> you about to say, bro. Like, oh, hey. You would have shut down and just hey. Yo, what's up? Hey, but hey, she's just like, can, me she's like, kitchen. can we go for a chat? And you're like, yeah, I miss her, eh? <laughs> <laughs> to the other guys. Yeah, nah, man. Fuck, I didn't even want to come on the show, man. <laughs> yeah. She but she left me, man. I had the no other choice. Would be like, what the fuck? All right, that's the episode of Water Cooler, episode two. See you next time. Gang shit.